Do you have a loud house? Well, stick around and let's talk about how to reduce that noise. I'm to step into the valley with Katrina Do at the Three Step Realty Group. In today's episode, we're talking to you folks who have been home more and have discovered that you have a, a loud house. <laughs> Maybe it's Things you never noticed before because you weren't home as often, like squeaking noise, dripping noises, rattling noises, or how about the obvious? Lots of loud chatter, more voices going on, distant learning, echoing happening that you didn't notice before because everybody wasn't home as often. Well, let's talk about four ways to help reduce that noise instead of hiding in your car or the closet for some peace and quiet. <laughs> I haven't done that at all. Let's start with item number one, cover your hard surfaces. I'm talking about your floors. So for you, those of you who love hardwood floors, laminate floors, vinyl floors, if you don't have a rug over them in your main areas, put a rug down or a runner, because noises bounce off of those hard surfaces and echo throughout the home. So you want something to absorb those noises. And take it a next step. Put in some uh, sound absorbing pads underneath those rugs. In fact, if you go to Amazon and search sound absorbing pads, you'll get an array of options to look, look at, uh, research. In fact, I've seen some of them ranging from $20 to $50 for packs of them. So check it out. Could be a nice cost-effective way to help reduce that noise. Now, another way, number two, to reduce echoes in your open spaces is put some artwork on the walls and maybe put a sound absorbing pad behind the artwork. <laughs> Even bookshelves. If you don't have a bookshelf in a room and you have space for the bookshelf, put a bookshelf up there because even a half full bookshelf, those books absorb noise. And then number three, invest in some sound absorbing curtains or drapes or shades. Now, if you do a search, what I found on my research is uh, blackout curtains, which there, there are some really nice looking ones out there, actually help reduce outside noise from coming in and can absorb the noise from inside the house as well. <laughs> and then number four, go green. Putting a nice, maybe, you know, medium sized plant in the corner of a home because yeah, you guessed it, that fol foliage will absorb sounds as well. If you put it in the corner, the sounds will bounce off the walls and go in right into that foliage. Now, it's not gonna take 100% of that noise, but it'll help reduce the sounds in your home. Bonus content here. Now, if you have heard squeaking, dripping, or rattling noises that you haven't noticed before, then it's time to work on some maintenance for your home. Go around your home, check things out, look under seats, or sinks, <laughs> look under sinks for <laughs> dripping sounds because you might have a leak somewhere. It's time to perform your quarterly home maintenance for that season. Check it out. Remember, make sure you're performing your basic maintenance because you take care of it now we will reduce bigger expenses in the future. <laughs> For you folks out there who are thinking about selling your home or buying a home, give us a call at the number below. We would be honored to be on your team and help you through the process. In the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube channel because every Friday we have a new video out for you.